Today I'm going to try to answer the question of why my laser engraver won't cut certain images when it will cut or score or engrave other ones. So here I've downloaded a picture of just a plain guitar. First thing I'm going to do is try to get rid of some of this white space around the image. So just click on it, hit edit image, and here you can click the image with this little magic wand looking tool that you want to get rid of. So here I'll just click the white space and hit save. After I remove the white space background, you notice here on the side that the only thing that I can do with this is engrave rather than cut or score. So one way I can combat this is to click on the image and put an outline around the image. So I'm just going to use the default offset and hit OK. Now you can see there's a little outline around the outside of the guitar. If this is how you would like it, you can engrave the guitar on whatever type of material you want to engrave it on and then cut around the outside of the guitar to have an outline of the engraved material. I've used this for a few projects such as making refrigerator magnets. I engrave the guitar on the wood and then cut out the outside of the wood to make the outside of the magnet. Another thing you could do would be to insert a shape or one of the user images. These shapes can be used to put a background over the image that you can cut or engrave. Here, if I wanted to put a rectangular background over the guitar, I can engrave the guitar or cut out the square background. The last way that you can cut around this guitar would be to add a vector. Now, a vector lets you make your own points. So let's say I wanted to put some kind of five-sided figure on the outside of the guitar. I connect all the five points and then I can engrave the points and that just fills it out so I don't want to do that. Or I could cut the points to make an outline or score them. Now to score you can use really whatever power you would like and whatever speed you would like because it depends on how deep you want to score your wood or your glass or whatever type of item you're using. But to cut, a lot of the times you want 90 to 100 percent power with slow speeds and maybe even numerous passes to ensure that the items cut. I hope this tutorial on how to score and cut shapes in Xtool Creative Space has helped you and you will use it in the future to grow your business or your side hobby. If you don't mind, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. And you can follow my Etsy shop in the link below. Have a good one.